Good evening, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com and it's February 9th, Thursday. Okay, random stock today. Remember that Martin Screlly dude? Um, totally bad guy, right? I, I don't know if he is or not, but you know, let's just say he doesn't have the most stellar reputation, but he may be an absolute saint with a bad rap. But this company, this is his uh, former company, the one that he uh, supposedly defrauded. But I'm not talk. I'm not here to chit chat about Martin Screlly. Don't know the man, but I know this pattern. Okay, you see big, big volume today. The company doesn't report earnings until the 23rd. Typically, this stock does not trade a million shares. It trades less than 500,000 usually. So we get a big move today. Not huge, but it's big. Um, short interest, uh, about uh, 18 days. 26% of the float is short. That means that with this kind of volume, think about it. Let's say you're a fat and happy bear. You think, well, first of all, you don't look at charts much, otherwise you'd have already covered. Um, but, you know, you're a pretty smart guy. Most of the bears are uh, folks that short stocks in any kind of size. They're really looking at the company and they're, um, you know, they have infinite confidence in their wisdom. So let's say you're still short the stock. Okay, well now, uh, what um, starts with S and rhymes with hit? Okay, that's what you're saying now. This is up and this is on a breakout on volume. So I look at this from just a technical, from a trading standpoint, and I'm looking at higher prices on this stock just on a run into earnings, which is still, you know, a couple days away. So how are you going to trade this stock? Okay, we'll go down and we'll look at the 15-minute chart. There, we'll bring it up to present day. So... Most of the volume hit first thing in the morning. Um, stock's now at 21.19. You can use, say, forget about this red line. That's the 50-day moving average only since we're on a 15-minute chart. Still 50 periods of 15 minutes each, totally irrelevant. I would look and keep a stop, say, around, I mean, you don't even need to go all the way down um, to today's intraday low uh, or even the open. Keep a stop. Oh, let's give it a little bit more room. 2080, something like that. So you're risking about 40 cents in buying this stock. The whole reason you're buying it is because you believe that this has strong upside momentum and it's going to keep going, which means that if it pulls back to this level, then it really doesn't have strong upside momentum. It was just kind of a, perhaps just a one day wonder. Now, as we look at this chart here on the intraday, I mean, on the daily chart, uh, 2080, I, I can't really uh, reinforce that. I think you got to go lower. Okay. We'll say 2040, something like that. That's the type of capital that you'd need to risk. 2080 was too snug. You could get clipped intraday. But if this stock pulls back to 2040 or 2030, then you don't want to be in this trade anyway because it's a fake out, not a breakout. So anyway, um, hopefully we can make some money off of uh, Martin Screlly's last company. But uh, if we can't, at least we can make money on all the stocks that I'm covering in the strategy session, uh, some of our stocks have been doing particularly good, and it's nice to see um, all of you folks in the forum who are trading those and making money. Uh, thanks, and uh, watch for the weekend update this weekend.